I cannot believe that there's a game that lets Shizuo from Durarara beat up Kirito from Sword Art Online. And it got fucking localized somehow. I'm I Won't Use a Number, and today we're looking at Dengeki Bunko fighting Climax. <laughs> So Dengeki Bunko is the publishing arm of some big-ass Japanese corporation that focuses on light novels. To celebrate the 20th anniversary of that being a thing, we have this game. Since pretty much all of these light novels have been made into anime at some point, the fact that a game like this got localized is basically a dream come true for me, and I almost want to recommend it based on that alone. Thankfully, I don't have to. This game absolutely nails the crossover aspect of things. It's fully voice acted by the voice actors from the anime adaptations of each series, and each character has a sort of unique arcade mode story. Like, they all go to solve the same stupid bullshit crossover story problem, and whoever you're playing as is the one who ultimately solves it, complete with unique dialogue for that character throughout the entire story. On top of that, there's a Dream Duels mode, where it's basically just two of the characters interacting in an original scenario for basically no explained reason before proceeding to fight. And honestly, that is exactly what I want from a crossover like this. Whether or not you enjoy the fighting game aspect of this is going to largely depend on what you're looking for. If you were solely looking at this game for a deep and complex fighter, you're not going to get that. The fighting system is rather simplistic, to the point that every single character has the exact same inputs. Mind you, there are differences in the attacks that trigger from those inputs, but any veteran of fighting games should be able to tell you how simple that is. You have light, medium, and heavy attacks that are meant to link together in that order. Quarter circle forward and quarter circle back specials that can be enhanced with a bar of your special meter, ultimate moves called climax arts that take up two bars of special and are triggered with half circles in either direction, Trump card skills that are limited by the number of lightning symbols you have above your special bar that are either very powerful attacks or transformations. Impact skills which give each character a dash attack, a jump back attack, and another attack that is sometimes something special like a counter. There's also a skill each character has called a blast which can be either used for a power up, escaping a combo, or continuing a combo. And there's a simplistic air combo system. Finally, there's assists. Each assist character has two attack options, and a combo can be cancelled into an assist for a single bar of special. It's rather easy to learn all the ins and outs of that system fairly quickly. In a lot of ways, you could consider it baby's first fighting game. It removes a lot of the barriers to entry for less experienced players, but may turn away those who are used to something a bit more complex. For my group of friends, it was nice because we could delve into the game fairly quickly without leaving behind those who don't like having to spend a long time learning a fighting game. This game has playable characters from Sword Art Online, Oremo, a certain scientific railgun, Excel World, a regular at Magic High School, Black Bullet, Shakugan no Shana, Durarara, Toradora, Ro Kyu and Strike the Blood. Two additional characters, one from Virtua Fighter and one from Valkyria Chronicles, can be unlocked by beating the arcade mode and beating the arcade mode by finishing each round with a climax art, respectively. There are additional assist characters from Boogie Pop, Legending Angel Dokuro Chan, Denpa Ona To Seishun Otoko, Spice and Wolf, Kino's Journey, Golden Time, The Pet Girl of Sakuraso, and The Devil is a Part Timer. Funnily enough, out of the shows involved in this game that I've actually seen, I actively dislike quite a few of them, but I enjoyed the game nonetheless. Oh, and each of the stages is based on a Sega game, so there's that. Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax is available on PS3 and Vita. While it hasn't been announced for Western territories yet, there's an enhanced version of the game coming called Ignition, with balance tweaks and a few new characters that will be available on the PS4 as well so you may want to consider waiting for that version. That said, this has been I Don't Use a Number. If you like this video, you can subscribe and maybe share it with your friends. Keep loving what you love, and I'll see you next time with something else.